Hopes for improved relations between the United States and Cuba are echoed in the pieces of artwork being displayed here in Havana. Um, this place is amazing. It's like the South Bronx and Disney World kind of wrapped up in one. Profiles of President Obama and a young Fidel Castro have been cut from a flat wooden board painted red. Together, they form a piece called Castro Obama. More than 30 often whimsical works by American artists are being mounted this week for a major exposition in Havana that hopes to ride the wave of growing support for better relations between the two countries under the Obama administration. It feels incredible. I mean, it feels like we're actually making a difference and hopefully we could bring both Cuba and the United States closer to at least starting negotiations or talking to each other. And it's wonderful that it could happen through art because, you know, I always feel that art is very much a beginning step to talking. The U.S. and Cuba have not had diplomatic relations for nearly five decades, and the Bush administration significantly tightened trade and travel restrictions, making art and other cultural exchanges increasingly difficult in recent years. This exhibit is called Chelsea Visits Havana and will be the largest collective display of contemporary American art in Cuba in nearly 25 years. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.